One time years ago, a right on Moody said to a famous liberal preacher, what do you preach? He said, I preach good works, and I preach the golden rule, and I preach the Ten Commandments, and do good to your fellow man, and social justice, you know, and right control bills, urban renewal, that kind of stuff. And Moody said, do you ever preach about the blood? I said, oh, no, no, I don't preach about the blood. That's an old-fashioned slaughterhouse religion. I don't believe in that, that, bloody, that bloody religion. And Moody said, well, what do you do with uh, Colossians 1.14? When we have, we have have redemption through his blood, he's the forgiveness of sins. He said, I don't do, any, do anything with that. He said, what do you do about that verse in Romans that said, being justified by his blood, we should be saved through him? He said, I don't do anything with that. So what do you do with that verse over there that says, how much more shall the blood of Jesus Christ purge your conscience from dead works to serve? He said, I don't do nothing with that. He said, what do you do with that verse that says, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanseth us from all sin? He said, I do nothing with that either. And Moody said, you know it. If I couldn't do anything with those verses, I'd just pack up my bags and go home if I were you. <laughs> and the liberal said, you know, sometimes it does seem like kind of a farce. <laughs> yes, it sure does. It sure does. Listen, brother, if you haven't got a message for that sinner that can clean him up and forgive him and get him home to heaven, just keep your mouth shut and stay out of the pulpit. You know, that folks going to hell, a lot of preachers going to hell with them. Amen, amen. amen. Put that anywhere. Put it on Tell Star or Star Trek or Star Wars or whatever the... The thing goes, I don't know where the thing goes. Put it out. <laughs> a substitute. Uh, the, the, the satisfied the demand of the law. The law said without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. You say, no blood, no blood. Listen, the life of the flesh is in the blood. I've got a book here, I've got a Bible. Every time I cut one page in that Bible, it bleeds. It's alive. What was it that made the high priest robe so fair in the Old Testament? His garments were sprinkled with blood. What was it they put in the mercy seat to take away the sins? It was blood. What was it that Jesus Christ sweated in the Garden of Gethsemane? It was blood. But there's a right applying the door back there in Exodus when he wanted to get forgiveness and get the Lord to pass over. It was blood. <coughs> what makes the robes of heaven so fair? These are those that have came out of great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. <coughs> You know, sometimes I wonder if I know what I'm doing standing here. I'm standing here before a 20th century camera, a 20th century audience up toward the end of the 20th century, and I'm saying, blood, 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 blood. Just like a high priest said 2000 B.C. in the Old Testament. And don't bother me a bit. I don't feel a bit nervous. It's just when I get thinking about the setting sometimes, I say to myself, can this be real? <laughs> It's real. What can wash away my sin? Nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Or are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? I know what they're talking about. Sharing and coping and coping and sharing and sharing and coping and coping and sharing. And adjusting and getting along with folks. And come here my next son and I'll let your wife run the house and all that kind of stuff. Listen, brother, what can wash away my sin? Blood. Blood. Why should I be embarrassed? You're a bloody people. Look at you. Take you cut your ear, your nose, you bleed like a stuck hog. Why should you believe in the blood? What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. Nothing like a Bible to clear up a college education.